Jake here. Today we're going to go over Rico Theta V Fusion Workflow. Let's get started. Now I originally used this camera about oh, a year ago. Now if you watch my video over the Theta Z1, which will be linked in the description below if you're watching on YouTube, you'll know that I was ecstatic when I got to use this app versus the Insta360. Well, I was a bit shocked to realize it was the app that was upgraded. It's not dependent on the camera itself. Therefore, the Theta V can still use this amazing app. But the quality, the quality is where the Z1 shines. The V can only shoot in JPEG, where the Z1 can shoot in DNG. Anyways, let's continue. I have already pulled my photos from the camera and placed them on my desktop. I apologize about that. I'm gonna open up Lightroom. I'll head over to the folders in the left-hand column and find my originals folder. Select and then import once they load. Where this camera may lack quality, it sure does make up inconvenience. We're just gonna do some touch-up work in here and export and merge the files elsewhere. As you can see, these are not dual equilaterals. It's already a pano. So I'm going to just uh, make sure everything is nice and organized. No bonus shots. Everything's set in brackets. Yep, looking good. Once Lightroom catches up with us, I'm going to select one of ours and then select everything with Control A. Head over to Develop. I'm going to set a preset, just kind of like brighten highlights and uh, shadows and whatnot. Synchronize that. Head back over to the Library tab. Let Lightroom catch up. And that's pretty much all we're going to do in here for this project. So now I'm going to uh, head to Export. We're going to navigate to our folder on our desktop and make a new folder called Lightroom Export. You can name it whatever you like. Select that. Take a look at everything. Make sure you're not resizing. Go ahead and export. I'm going to speed this up real quick. If you want to skip ahead, you can meet me at 355. The reason we use PT GUI in the Theta Z1 video is because we had dual equilateral at export and needed PT GUI to stitch them back. Since we're forced to shoot in JPEG with the Theta V and we don't need to do any stitching, we could have just merged in Lightroom. But I find Lightroom handles HDR merging with JPEG pretty lousy. Instead, we're going to use Infuse GUI. Infuse GUI is a really nice program for HDR merging, and the best part is, it's free. I'll leave a link below if you're following along on YouTube. Let's navigate to our Lightroom export file in File Explorer. Once Infuse GUI is installed, go ahead and launch it. We're going to select all our files and drag them right into Infuse GUI. We're going to want to change the bracket count to 5, or however many exposures you're working with. You can choose between TIFF or JPEG for file export, 
but since we're already working with JPEGs rather than DNGs, and I fully intend on doing more edits in Photoshop once the brackets are merged, it doesn't really matter. Once you're ready, just hit Infuse it, and it will start merging your brackets. I'm going to speed this up. Once Infuse GUI is done, you may close out of the program. You'll see it made an infused folder within our Lightroom Exports folder. That is where our HDR images will be located. I'm going to exit out of File Explorer and navigate to the folder within Bridge. You may copy the path to the folder if you'd like, but we're just working on the desktop currently. Once you're within the Infused folder, select all of the panoramas. From here on out, it will be the same process as we had in the 13 minute mark in the Theta Z1 video, if you had watched that. I'm going to right click on the selected panoramas, and then select Open with Camera Raw. You can make adjustments in here if you wish. For the sake of time, I'm going to apply a preset and then select Open Images on the bottom right. This will begin opening the panoramas into Photoshop. I'm going to speed up the loading process, but it should be fairly quick. No need to skip here. Now would be the time you would do Photoshop touch-ups, like removing photographer and tripod shadows or fixing imperfections. As I stated in the past, I'm not going to dive into editing in these tutorials, but I will show you how to use actions to save time on your workflow. If you don't already have the actions window up, you can find it by going to Windows and then clicking on Actions. We're going to create a new action and label it Demo, and then hit the Record button. Navigate over to Image and then click on image size. Go ahead and resize them to your preferred dimensions and click OK. Then we're going to navigate to the rectangular marquee tool and select everything from the top of the panorama to the base of the tripod. Press Ctrl J to duplicate our selection and then press Ctrl T to cue the transform. Grab the top center of the box and drag it down to the bottom of the image while holding Shift. Then hover it over to the Layers panel and select the two layers. Right click and select Merge Layers. This created a mirror ball. Press Ctrl S or go to File, then Save As, and navigate to our project folder. Create a new subfolder called Finals and press Save at the bottom right. Make sure the file format is JPEG though. Now we're going to exit out of this file and head back over to the action windows and press stop. What we just did is create a macro for resizing, adding a mirror ball, saving, and closing the file. Now we can just hit the play button on our demo action and it will take care of that entire process for us for all the remaining panoramas. Once you're done, Go back to Bridge and navigate to the Finals folder. Minimize your window a bit, and then open up a Fusion tab with the Media Manager ready. And you can simply just select all of the panoramas and drag them right into the Media Manager. A bit late, but I should note that if you are on a Mac, all those shortcut keys should be used with the Command key rather than the control key. That's going to wrap up the Theta V workflow tutorial. If you're watching along on YouTube, there is a how to build a walkthrough virtual tour video below. You can find that in the information tab by clicking show more. If you found this video helpful, smashing that like button would be appreciated. Feel free to leave a comment about any questions or perhaps 
recommend any other tutorials you'd like to see in the future regarding fusion. Thank you for watching, and as always, blue skies, green grass.